I think the first thing we need to do is keep the fossil fuel in the ground. We've got a moratorium on fracking here in Wales, thanks to the Welsh Government, and we need to have a secure energy supply. And CAP, the Centre for Alternative Technology, has said that we can actually be a zero carbon nation by about 2050, so it is possible. We've had some great success with our Arbed and Nest schemes, uh, thanks to the Welsh Government. We need the public sector to lead the way, and we need community energy projects. And that really brings me on to my big point, which is, unfortunately, renewable energy is being decimated by the Tories in Westminster. So the sooner energy is devolved, the sooner the Welsh Government can really <coughs> deliver its green vision, which is that we cut our carbon emissions by 80% by 2050. Um, yeah, absolutely uh, agree with the moratorium and um, the idea that fracking should be banned in Wales if we had the power to do that, the Welsh Government would have done that. It's not a silver bullet, we don't need fracking, we should be absolutely promoting um, green energy just as the <coughs> Welsh Labour promises to do uh, with our manifesto and just as we have been doing for the past five years. Education is to me the heart of everything, it is the most important thing uh, and if, for example, if we want to bring people out of poverty, we're going to do that via education and um, so I would be making sure that the £100 million that the Welsh Government has promised for education goes right into the front line, into schools, uh, where it can be delivered uh, to improving standards and helping children um, really achieve their full potential and be inspired, so that's what I would do. Uh, we are the only country in the G7 is actually increasing the amount of subsidies going towards um, fossil fuels. Can you believe it? We are the only country. Every other country is working out how to do things in a more renewable, environmentally friendly way. Um, and unfortunately we've got the, the government in Westminster to thank for that. I think one of the key things we need that I've been campaigning for is there's been a hospital supposed to be being built in Lamfretfa, which is in the Torvine part of our constituency, because this constituency isn't just Monmouthshire, it also includes Croissy Kelly on the land Raven. And there's a hospital there that we really need to be built. The other thing locally that I'd like to see is I know that Neville Hall, for example, are recruiting abroad at the moment for nurses. Now, I'm sure we should try and do a better job at connecting up the jobs that are available with our school leavers and really making sure that people can see what is available in the local area because there'll be some fantastic students in any of our schools who make brilliant doctors and nurses. I'm really proud to be part of the Labour Party because the Labour Party in Wales is absolutely at the forefront of making Wales a green nation, the greenest nation in the UK. We passed the Sustainable Development, the Future Generations Act, which is all about a low carbon Wales. We want to reduce our carbon emissions by 80% by 2050. We uh, leave the UK on recycling. We were the first to introduce the plastic bag tax. We are doing so much for renewables. And meanwhile, in Westminster, the Tories are cutting everything to do with green energy. And you've got a UKIP policy, uh, which has just come out where they want to slash £73 million off the uh, climate change work that we are doing in Wales that's so important to us. So the, the party that you can really trust on the environment in Wales is the Labour Party. If you want to vote for someone who's got the energy and the commitment and uh, the new ideas to really protect our environment here, then you should vote for me on May the 5th. Um, and I will always put the environment before politics. Thank you.